So Smith and Wesson came right after Enter the Stage because they were on Into the Stage. Mm. But they were my breaking point. Mm -hmm. They were my breaking point. When Smith and Wesson didn't, didn't get done right by Michael Weiss, that was my breaking point. That's when I came. Um, that's actually when I was like, yo, you know what? I'm going to fucking take your ass out of here. Okay? And um, the only of the owner of the label, head head owner, pulled like a pistol out on me or some shit, told me like, you know, you know, he's not afraid of me or some shit, whatever. whatever. White so dude? Actually, White oh, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam White. So Sam White. Actually, he asked me to come over mm -hmm. and he said, look at this. And I looked over and he opened the drawer and he said, you see this? And it was a it was a pistol. It was a mm -hmm. long pistol. And he said, I'm not afraid of you. And I was like, oh, yeah? I looked at the pistol. I was like, well, good luck using it. I only got a couple shots, mm -hmm. right? Because it was a lot of us. Mm -hmm. So I came back with Drew. Me and Drew started, went from management to a record company. And as, as we made the record company, we started off with um, the boot camp click. Mm -hmm. BCC was the first introduction to Duck Down. Helter Skelter was out of BCC. Mm -hmm. OGC was out of BCC. Mm -hmm. But if, but a lot of people don't know, and I'm going to show it, you know, on a thing that our very first be, uh, 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 looking looking for distribution, we put together a, a videotape called Duck Down Presents. Mm. And when we did that, we were trying to get our distribution deal and Helter Skelter's on that, Rock was on that. A few, a few people that didn't even make the label was on that, mm. um, and um, we was we used that, and that was the beginning of Duck Down Records. We linked up with Ben Turner, uh, who was in uh, California, and he had Ice Cube, he had Master P, and he had uh, uh, Rockefeller. This is priority. This is priority. Mm -hmm. So we all linked up, and uh, it became all of us. You know, Master P, Link, da, 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 everybody, we linked up and um, and uh, we're on Priority Records. And Priority, we had a distribution production deal. So, so like, did, did your solo career suffer? Because I, I remember it was a point. I'm in the hood and I remember people saying, yo, who nice, a buckshot or Nas? Now, Nas was always... You know, he was looked at as this revered supreme MC because this is before Biggie. This is before. I mean, we from the borough, so we knew who Jay Z was, right? But the world didn't know who Jay Z was. But you was getting compared to these greats. But I felt like you didn't really get a chance. I remember when I gave Jay Z the microphone to get. I remember when Clark asked me, "Could I let this guy on?" And I was like, "Who?" <laughs> yeah, this was, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like Jay Z, my man right here. Could he rap before you come out? about to come out could you let him just spit a couple of bars and i said sure mm. sure and i gave mike and he went out and he killed me mm. <laughs> but you were revered as um at one point you was you was elite and then we didn't really get the work from you is because of that contractual situation you were talking about you couldn't record or you couldn't put out stuff no okay. it was because i already knew the life of a fucking rapper is only five more what how many albums mm. Right? Like, the fuck I'm going to sacrifice? I'm going to take the time that I power and the time that I know now mm -hmm. that I have the apex of my power to build my empire. Mm. And if sacrificing Buckshot, the rapper, with another album to give you a uh, dagger list or who got the props number two or, yo, here I fresh again with another album to boost you right up again more. Like, that shit out of here. Because y'all niggas are going to turn your back on me anyway. Mm. So I'm not stupid. The higher I make myself, the more you're going to stomp me down. Mm. So let me take myself and my power and, and use that to say, nah, don't play me, play him. Mm. Don't play me, play him. Don't rock my video, rock his video. Rock this video. Do this. Yo, but Buckshot, we love you. I swear, I love you too, so do this. Because you want me to give you Buckshot, but I'm not giving you Buckshot. I'm giving you this. Smith and Wesson, Health and Skelter, OGC. Okay, we're going to play new Health and Skelter, something by Buckshot in one of his groups, da, da, da. And that's how it started to become. So, yes, I was willing to sacrifice myself for the bigger picture because the bigger picture was always going to last. Like, mm. but, like, how many albums Buckshot could have came out with? How many... How many necklaces could I have worn around my necks from running Olympics? Like, yeah. 
they're going to hit that apex and it's up to and 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 you got to remember I was a businessman at the time. Mm-hmm. People keep getting that. They think I just wanted to be a rapper. I was a businessman who knew how to rap very good. I was a dancer up until 90. I didn't make I, uh, 90. I didn't start rhyming until 90. Mm. I was a dancer from a baby up until 90. 90, I started to rap. Nine one, nine two came out. Who got the props? Mm. So I really, I'm sorry for all the guys who fucking, who who didn't didn't have the skill to sit there and zone out and come up with some shit. And it took them twenty years. And they're like, "Y'all been rapping since I was a kid." Like, the time don't give you validity, dog. Understanding it, mm. I don't care how long. Of course, this is only the trailer for the full interview. Make sure you subscribe. Click that bell to get all notification. You do not want to miss this when this full interview drop. It is crazy. Tip-toe.